Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a super special video because I got in the mail my push journals from Shailene Johnson who is a influencer on Instagram and TikTok and she is someone who really speaks to me. I feel like she is who I want to be when I grow up. We have a lot of things in common. We both have ADHD. We're both Christians. And actually we have the same star sign as well, we're both Aquarius. And just the more I follow her, the more I notice similarities between her and I. But she is someone who is very successful and she put out a line of journals um, slash agendas. And you know, she says these are her secret and we're so similar in a lot of ways that I think this is something that could really work for me. But this is a huge splurge for me. I, money is a little bit tight right now, um, just being honest, and I haven't bought anything really big for myself in a long time. So these were quite an expensive purchase. Let me see if I can find out how much exactly. So I did buy um, the set of three 30-day journals, and it was $94.95 US. So I'll see on my credit card bill how much that was Canadian, and I'll just like put it here. But yeah, that's not a like small purchase for three journals. I don't think I've ever in my life spent more than like $20 on a journal. So this was a huge deal, but I'm so excited to, you know, splurge on something that is good for my health and that might make things just a lot better for me. So this is how it came. So it comes in like another box and this box is inside and I haven't opened it yet. So it already feels very expensive. I have to like push it out of this thing here. Oh. oh wow, even the box is really cool. It says achieve success on your own terms, right there. And it says push journals on the top and it opens like this. And then inside are the journals. Already, I'm just like really impressed by this whole system. Um, there's an instruction booklet and inside the instruction booklet it has like priorities and like things like that, like getting you started in the right mindset to start journaling with intention. So it even has, you know, like what are, what are your main things that you're going to track and like why are you tracking them? And it's just really, really, it reminds me of when I took project management, actually. It's almost like I, you're, you're, you're the project and they're like, this is like the goals and, um, you know, tracking what your outcomes are going to be. Like, it's really, really cool. And then there are three journals and I did get the pastel collection. I would have preferred, I think, the Queen Bee collection but they were sold out I think and also I really wish there was more options because I think it was really this or the black ones so I did just go with the pastel collection which doesn't really speak to me I'm not really a pastel girl but I will enjoy it anyway so there's a pink one a purple one and the last one is like teal or aqua Inside the journals, there is even some quotes from Shailene. This one says, focus on one thing at a time, run your own space, and give yourself permission to say no thank you. So just like really helpful, businessy kind of minded quotes like that. And there is all of the usual stuff that you have in an agenda, like this is um, a month tracker. Um, but there's like a one month personal inventory at the beginning, um, just getting you in the right headspace of what you want to do this month and what you don't want to do. And I do like that they are not like numbered to certain days of the month. So you don't have to start the month at the first of the month. Like you can start midway through the month, which is what I'm going to do. Like I'm going to start this tomorrow. And... There's also a space for notes. There's even a like food and health tracker section. And this is the part that I'm most interested in trying, which is the push goal um, 
push related quick tasks for today. So like what are the things that we're gonna push for today? And there's three of them. And so if I only have like two things to push for one day, maybe I'll take something that I say I never have time for and put that there. Or I just think it's gonna be really, really exciting to try that out. And there is even a schedule on the other side with um, times. Hello, I am back after using my push journal for a whole month and I'm back with some thoughts about what I liked about them, what I didn't like about them, and whether I would recommend them. A few of my favorite features are the one month personal inventory at the beginning, which asks you questions about your goals and priorities and what you intend to do for the month. So it really sets off the month with intention and I think it's really, really good to have that every single month of the year. And I also really enjoy the 31 day review, which is at the end of um, each purse journal and it talks about like how you did and just like doing some um, reflection on the past month and how your goals did and things like that. So I actually loved those two features. And another feature that I love and actually is the reason why I bought this and I still think it's the best feature of these push journals and that is the push related quick tasks. Um, that you have for every single day. So every single day you have to rewrite your push goal, which I think is great because you could have just had it written at the beginning of the journal, but the fact that you have to write it out again and again every day keeps it top of mind. And my push goal was actually um, to focus on the relationships in my life. And so every single day I had to write out my intentions for the relationships in my life and as well have three push related tasks for each day. So I'd have a task for each day um, three tasks for each day and so that really kept my goal top of mind and I could not forget it even if I wanted to even if there was something else important going on that day like I still had to write down my goals for that sync that day another feature I really loved I like this might be one of my favorites as well is the fact that there's a section that says today I'm grateful for and I love having a moment of gratitude in every day. It's something that I've done before. I actually did it on my Instagram for a while when I was posting every single day on my Instagram. I'd add um, something I was grateful for to my posts. And I love what that does to your life when you really take time to be grateful. So now there are a few features that I don't like about this. And um, one of them is that I think it assumes that one of your goals is um, like health and weight loss, which it is, so I'm not really that mad about it, but on the health tracker page, um, it logs all of your meals, which I'm fine with, um, but under the fitness log, it has calories burned and steps taken, which I actually don't have a Fitbit right now. I'm not intending to buy another one anytime soon. So I have no idea how many steps I take. And one of my goals is to leave my phone in the car when I go for hikes and camping and stuff. So I don't even have the pedometer on my, on my phone. So I don't really use that section. Um, I think it assumes that you have a Fitbit um, a little bit too much. Uh, I don't see why calories burned is really anything important. I think there's a lot of um, weight loss people out there that tell you that that's not actually that important or it's not usually correct. Um, and then the worst thing is that it expects you to take your weight every single day. And that makes me hesitate to recommend this to a lot of my girlfriends because I know some of them have past history of eating disorder. I mean, I feel like most women have some sort of history of eating disorder. For me, weighing myself is not really triggering, so it's just kind of annoying having to do it every day. Like I'll do it once a week or I don't see any benefit to doing it every single day. And I know that that would be very triggering for a lot of people. So I wouldn't want to recommend that to somebody and then have this journal prompt them to weigh themselves every day and get further into eating disorder territory. So I really don't like that. I wish they would take out that, that whole row, calories burned and weight, just, just take that row out. I do love that for every single day, there is a full page of notes. And I really took advantage of that and I did doodles and stickers and stuff like that. And I actually added two boxes to every single day on the notes page. And one of them is a Bible verse. So I like to have a Bible verse as well as something I'm grateful for. So I love that. And I added like a little box in orange for that. And then I also added one for weight loss because that was not my push goal. My push goal was to focus on my relationships. But I found halfway through the month, like I really wanted to focus on my weight loss. So my next push journal will be focused on weight loss, um, but this one was not. 
Here's an example. Um, I went on a hike, so I did like a little doodle of mountains, and that's where I went on the hike. And then I have my Bible verse right there. And then the rest of the notes are really nice because uh, if I'm doing something that day, if I'm working, I can just like use it as a notepad almost. Um, and I also did kind of do some reflections on the day for some of them. So I think this will be really nice to like look through um, as I start my next push journal today. I will go through my notes and kind of look through how my last month went and what I want to change. So I did love that. And I actually went out and I bought some colored pens. I highly recommend that if you're doing any sort of journaling. Um, I love these ones. They're Stedler Tri Plus Fine Liner. And it has like all these pretty colors. And so I just think that keeps things interesting with the push journals. And I also bought these stickers. They're fun. They've got a lot of arrows and stuff like that. So it's kind of nice to like point out things in your journal to be like, look at this, you know? Um, so I bought these ones and I actually went on Etsy and uh, I bought a whole bunch more. So I have some in the mail coming and they're like uh, mushrooms and stuff like that because we're coming into a mushroom season in Canada and I love going hunting for mushrooms. Oh, uh, another thing. Um, I love this pocket in the front because that's where I keep my stickers. <laughs> There's like a pocket here and you can keep like some, some documents or something like that. Um, so you don't lose them. And there's one in the back as well. So, uh, oh, no, there isn't. There's just one in the front. But I love that feature as well. And another thing, I feel like I've got so much to say about these, but I've been using it all month, every single day. So there at the back, there is some um, note paper. There's just like ones with dots and there's regular notepad paper. And I love that because um, a lot of times throughout the month, um, my husband's been like, do you have some paper? And I will just rip it out of the back of my push journal and be like, write on this. And so that has actually been really convenient. I like that there's that as well. I feel like I should, before I go, talk a little bit about my push goal and whether the journals worked. And so my push goal again was to focus on the relationships in my life because before this, a few of them had gone wrong and I had lost a friendship. And so I really wanted to focus on being a better friend, sister, wife, just all of that sort of thing, focus on my relationships. Um, and definitely the first two weeks I was using the push journal, I noticed a difference because it was some area of my life where I felt like I had no control, but having three tasks every single day really gives you a sense of control over something you feel like you have no control over. So whatever that is in your life that you think like, ah, there's nothing I can do, when you have to sit and think every single day, what are three things that I can do to help this? Um, it really does make you feel like you have a lot of control. So I did love that. Um, but towards the end of the month, like I definitely had a few days where I just wanted to be by myself, which is something that's new for me. But, um, you know, like I spent a lot of time with a lot of different people and I just needed like a break, but I still had three goals. So towards the end, there were some days where I just didn't meet the, the push goal or I didn't meet the, the tasks that I was supposed to do. But um, overall, I think it definitely did work and I could see how it would work for something um, even better if it was something super specific, like more specific than what I had. Like if it's a business goal or if it's a weight loss goal or whatever like that, I think it will work even better. So I am excited to try next month because I'm going to focus on my weight loss and I think that will be easier. So I would like to try that and I will let you know in the comments, you know, did that go better? Did it go worse? Like how did that go? But those are all my thoughts on the push journals. Sorry, I think it got a little bit rambly in there, but I was super excited to try these out. So yeah, let me know. Have you tried these? Did they work? Um, would you buy them? I know they are expensive. Um, and just let me know what your thoughts are. I'll see you next time. Bye.